net neutrality is the concept that everyone can connect with everyone on a non-discriminatory basis. What it's all about is the hope on the part of big uh, internet providers to be able to become a gatekeeper. And this gatekeeper function would allow big operators to ask you for a payment to connect to the internet, but then also ask for the internet to pay to get access to you. And obviously, from the big telcos perspective, being paid twice is much more interesting than being paid once. In the worst case, there will be, and it's already happening in some European countries, artificial scarcity of bandwidth, which will push people to sign up for uh, zero-rated services where they don't get access to the full internet anymore, but just Facebook with Twitter, one or two other services, which is bad for people who are seeking to receive information. But then if you want to communicate or if you want to launch a campaign of whatever type, you can only do it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever because people have limited access to everything else on the internet. So you end up with far smaller choice for receiving information, for communicating information, and you then also have less innovation online because there's no point in inventing a new service if everyone who's using the internet can't get access to it. Zero rating is where one service or, or a number of services get special treatment compared with everything else on the internet. So, for example, in Belgium, it's fairly common that you get a certain number of services aren't counted towards your download limit. These are generally just Facebook and Twitter, and everything else is counted towards your download limit. If you want to surf the internet, then you feel safer surfing Twitter and Facebook because that way you know you're not going to run out of data. Whereas if you look at any other site, you do risk running out of data. And then if you need data for a map service, for example, when you're traveling, uh, you won't have it anymore. So the basic problem is that some services get privileged treatment Others don't, and the experience of the individual when using the internet is a less rich, less socially interesting than it otherwise would be. If any online service like YouTube or like Netflix can pay for a discriminatory access to end users, then you're undermining competition, you're undermining the basic concept that makes the internet so successful, which is everyone can communicate with everyone on an equal basis.